Here's a quick tutorial on how to emboss or, or deboss a logo, any image logo onto a surface. So basically what you need to do is uh, just download the image. In my case, it's this particular image. I already downloaded it. You know, you just simply save image as and it's a PNG format, right? Then what you need to do is to go to convertio.co okay and then just upload the logo okay you can go uh, basically what I did is I searched convert JPEG image to DXF SolidWorks so DXF is the uh, is the image file that Solid SolidWorks accepts I believe it's AutoCAD file uh, so what you need to do is to go to this website right I'm gonna walk you through it you select the file in this particular case it's this image okay and to DXF okay once you convert it you hit convert and there's gonna be a download button uh, this is how it's gonna go it's pretty quick fairly quick please pardon the 3d printer uh, printing in the background I just have no way to stop it because it's a long print so you just simply download this DXF file and once you are in SolidWorks, basically you need to select the surface where you need that logo to be. Okay. Now there there are ways to convert that into millimeters and you know blah blah blah. You know, but you can always scale the image. Okay. Now in my case, it's going to be a huge, huge uh, logo. Okay. And I will show you how to scale that down. Go to Insert. Go to DXF. Okay, this is a converted DXF file. Open that up. And it's going to give you this dialog, import dialog. 2D sketch, hit next. Uh, just select millimeters, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, it's going to be huge. Hit next. Now, define sketch origin. So just, just select somewhere here. Okay. And then hit apply hit finish what's gonna happen is it's gonna convert it to line art and if I zoom out you will see how huge this logo is compared to my my uh, 3d model now what I need to do is to basically to scale it down right so I select everything okay and it's asking for scale about what I want is to very lowest point right here okay so this is scaling about this point and I'm gonna do not select copy because what's what's gonna happen if you don't select if you do select copy put a check mark here it's gonna keep the bigger the bigger logo and the smaller logo so make sure the the copy is unchecked go to point one Okay, this is the smallest it can go at this point, which is too big for my model anyway. But I will go ahead and accept that. And I'm going to redo the whole procedure once more. I'm going to select everything. Okay. Scale about. Which is right here, this point. You see how small it became? This is what I need, but I need it bigger. So I go 0.3 in my case. And let's just turn it around and see. Yeah, 0.3 would be nice because this is the length and this is where I need it to be placed. Now I'm gonna accept that. And this is where the logo is. Now, all I need is basically to rotate the whole thing I'm gonna rotate that whole thing and center of rotation we're gonna put it maybe this point right here okay and we're gonna spin this around until we're satisfied with the angle so we're spinning it around around until it 
more or less matches that line that you see at the bottom. So, I think I overdid it. It's always better to kind of dial in the numbers. See, it keeps on going 95. So we need, we need it to be maybe 80 or something. We'll see. Let's take a look. Okay, maybe 70. Okay, so I'm gonna hit OK on that. And now I'm gonna have to move it over to where I need it to be. So I'm gonna hit Move Entities. And... Starting point would be... Okay. And I'm gonna place this logo just about... Let's see... Here. Okay, now you see the logo, right? And we need to embed it, deboss it actually. So for that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna exit out of this sketch, okay? That's the sketch, and it's sketch 31. We're gonna select the sketch, and we're gonna go to warp, okay? It's asking for which surface you wanna warp it into, deboss. So you gotta make sure the deboss is selected, not emboss, because emboss is gonna be raised on top of the surface. We're gonna deboss it and either wrap or wrap circular or wrap like spline surface would work. I'm gonna keep it as spline and I'm gonna select this particular surface. Phase one, accuracy high, full preview, Obviously, there's a lot of, you know, complexity happening in this image. And I'm gonna hit OK. So basically, what happened was uh, I needed to select wrap instead of, I mean, the circular wrap, analytical, instead of spline. So when I selected the analytical and hit OK, it beautifully debossed the logo right onto the surface and you could see it's beautifully debossed in there and I didn't have to mess around with the uh, illustrator or anything like that to convert it into to a vector or anything like that.